Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. A little test today for the Blue Etty Charger 1 device. I uh, reviewed it a little while ago and I had a question from someone um, whether they could hook up a lithium battery and then use that Charger 1 to charge their power station with it. So the thing is sort of designed to work off of vehicle alternators. That's its uh, use case that Blue Eddy has designed it for. And then you can charge your, your box at a much higher rate than you could charge through the traditional 12 volt outlet in a, in a vehicle. And that works very well, I tested that. But uh, I had a question whether you'd be able to do this. Um, it's not in the, the manual or anything as something they, they recommend. But we're just going to figure out if it can do it. Um, seems like it should be able to. I don't know if the, the lithium battery voltage is high enough to maintain the charger because it will have some type of a low voltage sensing in it. So I thought I'd give it a try for the person who asked me and I'll make a little video about it. So I have the battery hooked up here. Um, if you were doing this, you'd want to make sure to fuse that if you're going to, you know, leave it somewhere where there could be a problem with the wire shorting or anything, but I'm going to forgo over that. It does have a, the kit came with a, a breaker, but as outlined in my review, it's very far away through a lot of wire, so there's a, a, a chance that things could be shorted. Anyway, just wanted to point that out from a safety perspective. And we've hooked it, hooked it up into the input, and then the output is connected to the Blue Eddy's uh, DC input wire, where you can put solar panels or a DC input. So this is going to change the voltage from the battery, which is around 13.2. It's going to step it up, and I have the charger set for 15.6, which should give me about 500 watts of charging power. I got a couple apps here set up so it's hard to see in the sun but I'll record the app and put it up on screen for you. Okay so this is the battery app and it's right now it's only at 44% showing 13.23 volts. We'll go over to the charger here and I'll set it to charging mode and it's showing 13 input nothing out yet. We right, take a little bit to analyze and click there we're now we have 56 volts. I can hear the fan coming on. There we are, it's starting to ramp up now. There's 153, 200, slowly ramping up. And there we go, 224 watts is what it's saying it's putting out. Um, the battery input is showing 12.3. Probably some voltage drop on the wiring there. Let's just see what the battery app says. Yeah, it's still showing above 13 there. So there is some voltage drop along the, the wiring. So, seems to work. Let's just have a look at this little Blue, blue Eddy power station. It's the AC70. Let's see what it's saying. And it's saying 599 watts in. So, appears to be functioning. Yeah, so not something they really specifically designed it for, but it seems doable. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, guys.